how to use zoom step-by-step -step guide now this video is gonna be for beginners tutorial only now today we're going to tackle about the plans and pricing for zoom and how you can log in different methods on logging in and then how zoom works how the zoom meeting works for you the first things first is you can go ahead and pull up any preferred web browser I'm gonna be using my Google Chrome for this step-by-step -step guide now if you pull up Google Chrome just simply type in zoom now don't worry if you haven't uh, created an account because it will go along the way of the video now once you're here you can go ahead and click on join meeting zoom or sign up for free now once you click on sign up for free you will be routed then to this page now these are the options that you can use for you to be able to log in. You can either use SSO uh, using your Apple ID, your Google Mail account, or through your Facebook. Now again, this is the first method of logging into Zoom first. So right now, I'm going to be trying to use my Google account. So let's just log in first. Now let's just choose on the email address that we want to use to log into Zoom. Now once you have successfully logged in using your Google or Facebook or Apple ID account, this is going to be the Zoom website interface. Now this is not yet the final Zoom dashboard. This is just the web browser for Zoom. Now for you to be able to join a meeting or create a meeting, You'll need to download Zoom via the app. Now I already downloaded mine my end. If you haven't downloaded it, just simply click on the blue icon right here that says download Zoom. Once you're logged in, this is gonna be your dashboard interface. So all you have to do is to log in on the same account, the ones that you used on the web browser. So use it, it's the same as the app. Now before we tackle on joining and creating a Zoom meeting, you need to take note down first because there is going to be four divisions of four kinds of using Zoom. So the basic, the pro, the business, and business plus. So if you're only creating a meeting for or not less than or not more than 40 minutes per meeting, then you can use the very basic one. The basic includes 100 participants per meeting. Um, it has a team chat, clips basic, up to 5 to 2 minutes of videos. It has mail and calendar. Uh, basic documents that you can use. You can share up to 10 documents. You can share notes and you can do the basic whiteboard for three um, editable boards. So again, you don't have to exceed more than 40 minutes per meeting if you use the free Zoom or the basic Zoom. So in case if you use the basic Zoom and you exceed it after 40 minutes, um, what's going to happen is it will automatically end the meeting or end the call. And what you can do is to try to let your participants join the meeting again. So it's kind of not professional to use but it depends on how or what would you like to use zoom with now for pro you can add 30 hours per meeting so it's gonna cost you depending on the currency that you are or where you're located and right now I'm located in the Philippines so it's gonna cost around 495 pesos for the pro subscription so the pro subscription includes ai companion uh you do have a cloud storage up to five gigabytes unlimited documents that you can share and use uh, clips plus unlimited videos and then mail and calendar and essential apps so you can use essential apps for pro subscription and then you can only use one per year now for business what you can do for business is going to be 300 participants per meeting. Now, Whiteboard 
has unlimited access. You do have another um, feature right here, which is scheduler and then extras. So everything in pro and then this one add-ons right here. Now for business plus, everything in business and the business plus. So everything on this one and then this one are added. So your cloud storage will increase up to 10 gigabytes. You can use phone for global select, uh, translated captions, workspace reservations, and then visitor management. I'm not really sure how this visitor management works, but you can go ahead and try this. Business Plus if you're using um, Zoom meeting for business. Now, without further ado, let's just go ahead and tackle the very basic subscription on zoom so it's called subscription but you don't have to pay anything for it so again once you do already access the zoom app and then you already downloaded it let's go ahead and tackle the app so this is going to be your interface if you already downloaded zoom now if you're trying to join a meeting all i have to do is to click this join button right here the plus button now for the first field, all you have to do is ask the meeting ID or a personal link name. So you can go ahead and um, try to press on this arrow pointing down right here if you already joined the same meeting and wanting to rejoin again. Now, what you need the meeting ID for is this is actually a code. So this is a unique code in which only um, meeting owners will be the ones to provide it to you. So if you wanted to join a meeting, all you have to do is ask the meeting ID from the meeting owner or your company uh, will be provided you. Now on the second field, this is going to be the field on what specific name you would like to be displayed. So for example, testing 101 and then you click on join so testing 101 is going to be the name that will be visible once you join a meeting now these two options right here you can choose to don't connect to audio or turn off my video if you choose on don't connect to audio once you join the meeting you will automatically be on mute once you turn off my video you will automatically be uh, your video will not be visible once you join the meeting right so once we're done tackling the joining field another one is to new meeting now this is where we can adjust everything we can adjust uh, camera options voice options and then uh, the video options so let's just click on it now in here this is gonna be your dashboard for joining or creating a meeting so this is your camera right here uh, i currently covered it so if you wanted to turn off your camera just simply press on the video right here to stop the video now if you want to mute yourself just simply click on the audio so it will automatically be disabled if you want to hover around audio settings all i have to do is to click this arrow pointing up and in here you can select a current microphone or all of the external microphones that you connected over to your PC will be shown here. So you can choose any microphones as your preference and then you can also select a speaker right here. So to test your speaker and microphone just simply click on this one. So that's going to be the sound that you will hear if you try to do a testing for your microphone. So that's going to be the sound that you will hear if you Trying to do a setting for. There you go. So if you wanted to adjust the settings from your video, all you have to do again is just to click this arrow pointing up right here. Now in here, you can select a camera. All of the external cameras that you connected to your PC or laptop will be visible here. You can choose your own preference. Now to edit your video, just click on uh, blur my background if you wanted. A blur background and then you want just to focus on your face now for um, deeper video settings you can choose to choose a virtual background 
down here you can choose to blur um, you can choose on any backgrounds like for San Francisco you can choose to go grass to earth or you can try video filters let's just click on none first and go to video filters you can boost the color you can um, add any color you want from these backgrounds right here it even has eyewears stickers and so on and so forth that you can use you can also try to use avatars if you have an existing avatar you can add it here if you don't have any then you can create one like this one right here now on um, this field is not only for video you can also hover on the general settings you can try to change the theme the navigation the reactions and so on and so forth for videos that's gonna be um, you can mirror the video you can touch up my appearance adjust for low light portrait lighting and if you wanted more settings then you can click on advance there you go then for audio this is the same as what I have shown earlier there so on share screen this is gonna be settings for sharing your screen for the whole participants joined in your team now you can try also to edit team chat um, once you pull up team chat since I have set it up for um, popping it up on the right corner you can also try to replace it on the left portion of your screen now you can customize the look of your sidebar you can like uh, a darker theme or a light theme and here you can try to get on zoom apps you can also try change background and effects this is what we did earlier and then your profile right here your statistics your keyboard short shortcuts accessibility settings now we already tackled about the audio and video settings now right now let's go ahead with the team chat team chat is gonna be here if you press on that as what I've uh, mentioned earlier there will be a message box that will pop out the right portion of my screen so in here you can try to customize where are you sending the message to you can try to send it to everyone or anyone who joined the meeting now simply type what you want and then just click enter and then it will be visible to the person depending on your preference right here now for your participant settings just click on it and it will also pop out on the right portion of your screen now in here you'll have all the controls from all of the participants that joined your meeting so you just have to click on the three dots right here you can ask someone or ask any participants to unmute or mute themselves um, you can also automatically mute participants upon entry you can allow participants to unmute themselves allow participants to rename themselves you can place a sound when someone joins or leaves enable waiting room you can hide profile pictures and you can also lock meeting now if you click on lock meeting any participants who will join will not be able to join the meeting yet there will be on hold now you'll have um, control of that as well now if you want to use whiteboards or notes all you have to do is to click on more now if you have like a short printer uh, presentation or um, any videos that you wanted to be played so everyone can watch all you have to do is to click on whiteboard you can try an existing whiteboard you can share whiteboards options or you can try to create a new whiteboard now this is going to be your whiteboard you can try to use the pencil you can try to use shapes text uh, sticky notes frames and then templates for templates there is going to be um, premium templates in which this is not applicable for the basic or the free subscription so if you just wanted a simple one you could try with the pen and whatever you're writing in here and then if you want this to be visible to everybody just simply click on share there you go you can try the general access change the restricted to 
anyone at my company or anyone with link. Okay, let's just close this. Wait for it here. Now, if you wanted notes, just simply click on the three dots again and go ahead to notes. You can share notes options and you can share a fresh notes. It works the same on a whiteboard. Now, if you're trying to do a recording while on a meeting, just cl click on more and then press record. Once you press record, everything will be recorded. So this is actually a screen recording. Now, if you're trying to uh, share your screen, share what you're doing on your screen, just click on share. For sharing options, just click on the arrow pointing up and then you can go to advanced sharing options or multiple participants can share simultaneously meaning all of the participants can do the screen sharing all at once and then if you choose on one participant can share at a time then only one participant can share their screen and then after that uh, you can go ahead to the next participant so i guess that's it that's all for the very basic on using Zoom meeting step-by-step step only for uh, the tutorials for beginners.